Good morning, everybody. A very, very disappointing morning. I just got a phone call. I was scheduled to go in for three this afternoon, and, and now I'm laid off. Too much manpower. Too many people scheduled. Too many people hired. Something like that. So I don't work today. I don't work until they have work again. So I think it's going to be wise to spend part of today searching for more work. So now to figure out what to do. If I wasn't broke, I'd go travel, go see something different. When I'm broke, what do you do? Today's the day I try to temporarily fix the Phantom. Really shouldn't be too hard of a fix. I've got to re-glue this piece up here. I'm going to use some two-part epoxy for that. And maybe test it again once everything's mounted proper, sitting proper. I doubt it's going to move, but at least if it can sit in a fixed position, I can still fly and record. For now, until I can get a whole new gimbal camera set up. Before we dive into Phantom Repair 101, we're going to go through again what happened yesterday, my really bad idea. Alright, here we have the road out front of my house, houses across the street, telephone poles, street lights, hydro lines, that's just a pine tree. Now, as you know, I was going to try to capture some footage of Rob leaving for school yesterday. And things did not turn out so well. Here's Rob's truck. That turned out pretty well. There's my drone. Once Rob was ready to leave, I decided it's time to launch the drone and get it into position to get a good chase shot down the screen and possibly even outrun the Dodge. So I took it up in altitude. Above the te just above the telephone lines. At this point, I should have looked around and made sure that the drone was higher up than a lot of the trees in the neighborhood as well, not just the telephone lines. As soon as Rob started moving forward, I started to move the drone forward. As soon as Rob started to go forward, I did the same, keeping his truck in frame. Since he accelerated, I did the same. Now by this time, both drone and truck are moving along at a good clip. Nearly 30 mile an hour. And the truck... And the truck kept on going. But the drone crashed into the tree. Spun like crazy. Slammed into the ground. And kept flying for a few seconds. So I told it to land. Once the drone safely landed, I shut it all down, picked up the drone, saw the damage, and realized what a bad idea that really was. I even chuckled because I realized at that moment that was just like one of the worst ideas I've had in a long time. I'll tell you right now, part of the problem was. This is supposed to be me holding the transmitter, okay, there's toggle one, toggle two, and I got the screen of my phone right there, there's my eyes, I'm smiling thinking, what a great idea, but I'm looking down at the screen, when I should have been Oh, those are some big toggles, eh? When I should have been, still smiling, looking up at the drone. Okay. Bad idea. Good idea. Trying to think how I'm going to set this camera up so you guys can watch while I do my repair. This could end up being a really good idea, 
or a really bad idea. And I've been having a lot of bad ideas lately. Check it out. So it's the drone. It's on a nice sheet of paper, nice clean surface, so I can be able to show everything. Sorry for the lighting issue, but I got it set up. Probably going somewhere else, somewhere better. Here, that's my. It's a Manfrotto tripod. And it's got one of these goofy things on it with the wheel so you can tighten and loosen. It's actually quite handy. And a little piece where you can snap your camera in and out of the tripod. Got my camera right there. Ooh, it still may not be high enough up. You'll still be able to see what's going on though. I suppose first things first, let's get rid of these blades. I'm actually quite surprised that none of these blades are broken after yesterday's little incident. I don't know if you remember my little review that I did. I commented about these blades being spin on and torque on rather than just snap on. Well, if you watch Adam the Woo, he crashed his drone the other day too. That wasn't supposed to run. He has a Phantom 4. The cause of his crash, straight up due to a prop coming off. Whether he didn't have it all the way on there, or maybe it just failed and it fell off, it was the cause of his crash. Here's where you really kind of see the damage. Uh, some prop. This, this fix should be just to see what's going to happen. I pot it in place with crazy glue. And then I'm going to two-part epoxy it. If that's in place, then I kind of mock up something to hold that in place at the same height that these white plastic pieces do. We'll see what happens on the next flight. Oh, what a fix, what a fix. Haven't done the fix yet. Jess is back with Timmy's. And yes, I know it looks like a bad idea, but I hope it's gonna work. I got a pretty good strap holding it, and it's against the ledge anyway, so it should be good. The tools of the day. So I sent my awesome sister on a Timmy's run. Plus, uh, I asked her to go to a dollar store for me, because I wanted to do some filming, and we also needed Epoxy, crazy glue, and an exacto knife. And she couldn't find an exacto knife, but this is what she come back with, because it, it's got one in it. It come with pens, a stapler, mini staples, an eraser, paper clips, thumbtacks, and I just said, not even an hour ago, I don't have a pencil sharpener. Scissors, pencils. And a ruler, so next time I draw something out, maybe those houses will have straight lines. Pretty cool. Thanks, Jess. No problem.
still gotta sync up my phone. This is gimbal status normal. I've still got absolutely no gimbal control. Well, that kind of that's not good. So I'm gonna do a gimbal calibration. As you can tell, it's sitting on quite the mean lean. I don't, I don't think it's any good anymore. He's moving. It says it's calibrated, but I mean, it's got a mean lean to it. That's what it's seeing right now. So yeah, my gimbal's gone. Oh, oh, it moved a little. Whoa, see? That jump down there. No, it's pretty safe to say it's messed up. Like it still sees. Like I said, it's on quite the mean angle. I have a feeling something inside the gimbal is messed up. That sucks. On a serious note real quick, I wanted to mention to everybody, why am I smiling right now? One, smiling is a lot better than walking around looking angry, looking sad. I should be kind of upset the damage I did for a careless mistake to a drone. But being angry, being sad, being upset isn't going to fix the drone. Being in a positive frame of mind, putting a smile on my face and just puts me in a better frame of mind for thinking and how do I want to fix this drone. So just smile and be positive. I've done what I can for the poor Phantom for now. Don't have full gimbal control, and it's kind of obvious when you see that space there. But I fixed the broken part on the vibration plate, and I kind of rigged up a little piece in here to try and hold it flat level again. As for flying conditions, we'll find out tomorrow. I'm going to bring it down to the open field at the end of park and put it through some paces at a, very, at a lower altitude just to make sure no wires have been come loose during that impact with the ground. I think the ground hurt it more than the tree. Also, wanted to put a special shout out right on Lance, my cousin Lance, just bought himself a Phantom 3 standard. Way to go, fly safe, make sure you obey those uh, rules and regulations. Every time somebody breaks a rule or regulation and gets in trouble for it, it makes it harder for the rest of the drone pilots who actually do follow rules and regulations. I think that about wraps it up for today's vlog. On a serious note real quick, I wanted to mention to everybody, why am I smiling right now? One, smiling is a lot better than walking around looking angry, looking sad. I should be kind of upset at the damage I did for a careless mistake to a drone, but being angry, being sad, being upset isn't going to fix the drone. Being in a positive frame of mind, putting a smile on my face, and just puts me in a better frame of mind for thinking, and how do I want to fix this drone? So just smile and be positive. I'm having a really hard time figuring out how I want to do the wording for the end of this vlog. So I'm just going to say it, and if it doesn't sound proper, sorry. I have some subscribers that have been asking me about doing a meet and greet or like a meet up. Let's do this. Let's set it up on a weekend. Pretty confident in saying that the Phantom will be flyable. I'm going to find that out tomorrow. So we can do a, a meet-up and get some footage of me and some of my subscribers together. I think that'd be pretty cool. Please, if you made it to this far, to the end of the vlog, comment in the comments below. 
on if you would like to attend or whether or not you would be willing to come out and join us for a meetup so I can meet some of my subscribers and uh, you guys can I don't know throw a million one questions at me who knows I don't know how these things work so let's just play it by ear kinda do it as the ball rolls anyhow as for as for me vlog over I'll see you guys tomorrow thanks for subscribing if you're a subscriber if not please hit that subscribe button if you don't have a channel it's YouTube it's free takes about five minutes not even you can customize your page your picture for your page your overhead layout uh, you can follow so many different people on YouTube it's great so sign up please do subscribe share the video click like if you liked it and uh, yeah throw a random comment below this camera's getting heavy can you tell vlog over thanks for watching good night